so it is Saturday and I am out here at the Hickory Run State Park and uh, got this going on behind me here which is beautiful uh, just out here as another test of the uh, the phone as a camera just exploring and enjoying uh, right now I'm on the Shades of Death Trail and uh, that starts at the park office and heads up along the, the creek here and then it's there's a bunch of other trails that fork off of it, so I'll make my own little adventure here. So, uh, yeah, let's go do some exploring. So uh, I'm going to take a little detour from what I kind of had planned. don't really have a plan, actually. Um, kind of wound up at Hickory Run State Park just driving, trying to find something to do. Want to spend a nice sunny day out here hiking, and I got it. Um, hiked along the Shades of Death Trail. Uh, crossed over to, I think it's called the Beach Trail, which runs into the campground. 
and then the, the sand springs. I could take sand springs straight back to where the car is, but I'm gonna take this blue trail. It takes me up to, uh, I think it's called the Fire Line Trail, and then over to the railroad tracks and back down along the creek. So a um, little bit of a longer hike, but uh, it's only like quarter after 12 or something like that, so I got plenty of time. So, all right, let's see what we got. Okay, so I just reached the end of the blue trail. I thought I was heading to the fire line trail, but it's the pine hill trail instead. So the fire line trail is over on the other side. Uh, so now I'm gonna head down this way. Now the weird thing is on the map, it says that this is a more difficult trail than what I just was on. So um, maybe this gets worse as I go. It looks like a road to me, so it should be a pretty easy hike. Um, so I'm going to follow that for a little while and uh, see where that goes. But first, I'm going to have myself a little snack. So you may notice a difference. Uh, like Today, I'm in a state park um, where I've been doing my backpacking and camping uh, all year. Has been, for the most part, uh, outside of the Catskills, have been in uh, state forests in Pennsylvania. The Catskills is a state forest park preserve something I don't know how, how New York uh, describes it they don't really go into detail on, on what it really is it's just a park big big place but uh, regardless in Pennsylvania um, you've got you got differences um, at one point we'll say early 1900s I don't have the information right in front of me it's just off the top of my head but in the early 1900s uh, state forests and state parks were all together in one uh, service that was uh, under the state park State Forest Park Commission, I think it was called. But uh, they were state forest parks. They weren't state parks, they weren't state forests, they were both. Um, and at some point they split them up into state forests and state parks. The difference being that in state parks, like I'm at right now, um, you've got a lot more well-defined, uh, well-maintained, decently mapped trails. Um, you've got like reservable camping, there's usually cabins. Uh, a lot of times you've got uh, amenities, recreational things like uh, lakes for swimming and boat rentals and, and all kinds of fun stuff like that. Where state forests are more remote and you, you probably have longer trail systems like the Pinchot Trail and the Thunder Swamp Trail, the Loyal Sock Trail, the Loggers Path, um, Golden Eagle Trail, things like that. They're in state forests. A lot less amenities. You usually don't have uh, uh, modernized bathrooms. There may be uh, camping, like car camping, usually at no charge, but you need a permit. But they do allow, in most cases, um, backcountry camping, primitive camping, backpacking. Uh, state parks, generally, I haven't come across one yet that allows you to go out on a trail, make a camp, and just camp out there primitively. Um, they want you to stay in their reservable spot. So those are the two main differences. Um, so this is a state park, and this is a relatively large state park. Not the biggest one, but um, there's a lot of space here. Uh, I've, After I left the Shades of Death Trail, that's kind of right down by the main road, right down by the park office and the day use areas, I saw maybe 25, 30 people, not all on the trail. Some of them were, were fishing and some of them were in the campsites. Um, but once I got out here onto uh, Sand Springs and the Blue Trail, and now I haven't seen a single person. I haven't seen evidence of people. Um, but you may have heard a, a steady stream of airplanes overhead. Um, that is one of the downsides to the state park system here. Um, it's, it's not, I can't say it's really a downside. It's a side effect of the state park system. Um, they've made the state parks easily accessible. So a lot of state parks are on main roads or have access on main roads are not far from highways. Um, we're not far from uh, Interstate uh, 80 and the Pennsylvania Turnpike, Northeast Extension. Um, so there's a gigantic bird flying around out there. I don't know what that is. Might be a buzzard. Uh, but so it's more easy, they're e more easily accessed, but you do tend to hear more traffic and uh, hear more planes. Uh, but 
I guess you gotta, gotta take the good with the bad. And uh, I don't know if I'm gonna get this thing. It's heading this way, there it is. That was cool. All right, I'm gonna have myself a snack and I'm gonna continue on the trail. So I'm almost down to the river and uh, come across this it looks like an old homestead. Basically just been deciduous forest, the whole trail. And uh, come across this, it's pretty cool. So should be almost down to the uh, railroad tracks. And then right on the other side of the railroad tracks is the Lehigh River, which would mean Basically what I'm looking at over there, and I said this would be the Lehigh Gorge, Lehigh Gorge State Park, which is a, a pretty much straight, narrow park that runs all the way up the other side of the river. I hear water. Okay, almost there. So yeah, this is the trail. A little bit of water running. So uh, coming down this trail, we just came across that little creek, a little stream, and uh, find this. It's like an old, um, silo or a water tank or something. Kind of cool what you find sometimes when you're, when you're out hiking. We are right along, I think it's called Hickory Run, is the name of Soul Creek. I'm gonna come up to it again. Let me switch the camera and I'll show you. So yeah, we're gonna come up to this little bridge. So one of the cool things about this park is it sits right on the glacial line. So I just crossed into where um, the last ice age, the, the glaciers stopped and then they retract it. So if you look up Rick, Ricketts, no. So if you look up Hickory Run State Park, you'll most likely uh, see a lot of information about the boulder field, which was uh, deposited by the glacier. 
So pretty cool. And kind of cool little, little fact about this park. So now, like right here, you're seeing a lot of a lot more boulders uh, than where I was up on the other trail. It was pretty flat. That's mostly because this is where the glacier stopped and it all the little stuff that was getting pushed down in front of it got lined up here. Okay, so I've basically, com well, not, it's not a loop, almost a loop. Yeah, it is a loop. The car is back uh, over this way. Um, this is uh, the Sand Spring Trail, uh, where uh, I split off this trail uh, way back up there, and I got onto the Blue Trail and headed up to the, uh, the railroad tracks and all that. Uh, this is where that would have brought me if I would have stayed straight. But uh, at like maybe four miles, five miles, uh, I'll, have to, I'll put up the exact mileage if I can get it calculated. Um, but almost back to the car. So that's going to wrap it up here at Hickory Run State Park. Hope you enjoyed the video. I got to remember the lenses down here. Keep looking at the screen. Um, thanks for watching. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and do so. Click that bell. Remember, subscribing is free. Um, and uh, go outside and do something. I'll see you next. Ooh, another big bird.